Hello everybody, my name is Spirit and today I'm going to be taking you through a physique tutorial. I'm going to start by opening the female waiting pose master. It's going to be a quick video because YouTube only lets you upload a certain amount of video. I'm just going to set my views up so that I can see what I'm doing. Usually top, front and a side view works best. I'm just going to be making a very simple ankle accessory today. Obviously the uh, meshing part's not entirely too hard, it's just getting shapes to sit where you need them to and look like you want them to. Making sure that you don't cut into the foot or the leg or, or whatever else. Move them around and get them where you want them to go. usually just have the one window that you uh, rotate your view in that makes it a bit easier as well because then you know where you are so that's fine I'm just going to add another little box on the side and just to make sure it's dead square I'll type the lengths and widths and values in so that I know that they're square. And get it all into position. Okay, now for materials, I'm going to assign them before I attach the mesh drag the sphere over from one to the other to clear off the old ones. Standard button, multi sub object, discard old material. I'm going to set number for two because I only want two materials today. Again it's going quickly but just pause the video so that you can see how this goes. I will go through in another video possibly the setting up of materials but for today I'll just assume that you know how this bit works ordinarily you'd attach all the mesh and then assign a material to it if you wanted to do it that way it doesn't really matter what way you do it but you know sometimes it works easier to assign the materials and then attach the mesh parts together Okay, I'm going to select them both and in the material editor I'm going to hit assign material to selection and that will add a material to the whole lot. Obviously they're all over the place, we need to make sure that they go where we want them to. We'll select that cylinder. And in the modifier stack, I'm going to select UV map and I'm going to select a cylindrical map for that, obviously, because it's a cylinder. And I'm just going to tile it round a few times so that it's not too stretched. And that's the cylinder mapped and collapse stack. I'm going to select the element of the whole th the whole thing just to make sure that the whole thing is one texture and that's ID number one. Select the box. Same thing again, I'm just going to map it to UVW map. Planar this time for that I think. Collapse the stack. Select element, drag the box around the whole thing again just to make sure that the whole thing's one texture and it's the same texture on the whole thing. ID and make sure that it's set to two so then the whole thing's set to the same texture. I'm now going to attach these two together. 
So if I go into wireframe, you can see that's all one thing. Okay, now for the thing that we've been waiting for, the physique. We'll select it in the stack there. Select the guy with the red dot on him. Go to your list, pelvis node, and pick. Rigid, no blending, uncheck that one, initialize. Again, slow it down, pause it. Vertex, box around the whole thing, assign to link, hover over where the mesh is, which is the calf on this case, and lock assignment. If you drag your animation bar over, you'll notice that your mesh moves with your foot, which is exactly what you want, and you're done. It's as simple as that. We're going to go for an export now. File export. And I'm going to call it House Arrest Bling dot XMF. Save and just go through this process of exporting. I'm going to use create mode. We're going to derive from empty clothing and set it at a high number when it, when it gets there. Add a mesh, so something in the 90s. and add your XMF. The beauty of create mode is that you don't have to uh, add material files, it just knows that they're there now. Apply changes and you should find that that's exactly correct. Again I know it was a quick video but if you go back, pause, just follow it step by step you shouldn't have a problem and I hope that that helped you. See you soon.